Hello, I thought I'd do a little video um, about loadout as a lot of people are having crash issues and just freezing errors and crap like that including myself. I had this, um, I downloaded it when it first came out and I haven't been able to play it since. Uh, date is today the 10th of February 2014. I've only just yesterday, late last night, 3am, managed to get this to work. Um, so I thought I'd do a little video and try to help a few of you to get it working. Um, mine no longer crashes at all. It runs smooth and it's, <laughs> it's actually a really fun game. So I'm going to try my best to try and help a few of you out to get it to run correctly and work properly. Um, I've done a lot of steps because I found there wasn't much help out there on the internet on how to get it to work or what's causing the crashes so I've done a little a f few tests and shit myself and come to find out what it could be it's a list of several things um, but one of the main things I think it might be down to is one fraps do not load, load out at all with fraps because it it'll just be a black screen, it won't do shit, so close your fraps. Um, also, if you use MSI or any overclocking software like that, you're going to want to close that too, because that makes crashes. It, it's no good. Also, you might, might want to try and um, do a virus scan, just to be on the safe, make sure you've got no viruses or anything. As I scanned last night and found Trojan horse, and that could... You know, that's not going to do you any favours, so do a scan. Um, I'll go through the basic shit I've done first, just, you know, so that'll tell you what to do in that. So I'd use a def defragger to um, defrag your hard drive, make it all nice, and you'll be able to find programs and files that need quicker, so you're not going to have any problems or timeout issues. Uh... But yeah, this is what I use, all logics. So yeah, you can download this. I'll put all the links that I use for sort of my computer out in the description. Um, so you can go ahead and download these programs if you haven't got any. If you use other programs, then I'm guessing they'll work just as well. But yeah, do disk defrag, do virus scan. Um, there's a CC cleaner which clears a load of shit off your computer. Um, so you just download this if you don't have it already, or if you don't have another program like it, just download it. It's free. Everything's free. I'll tell you to download or ask you to download. It's your choice at the end of the day if you want to or not. Um, but yeah, you just click analyze and then run, which will clear a load of crap off your computer. Go to registry, do the same. Scan for issues and fix all the problems. It'll fix everything that's free and it's good. So that's that. Um, what else do we have here? Oh yeah, you want to delete the files, a couple of files, if you're getting the uh, crash and freezing errors. So you could just type down here, uh, percent percent, go back into the middle of them, and then app data. Hit enter, come up to here. And just up here, just click App Data to take you back a step. Click into Local. Scroll down to Edge of Reality. Then load out. Go into Catch. And delete this. Delete that file there. Then once you've done that, go back and delete both of those two. Now once you've deleted those, empty your recycle bin. That's actually quite important. Because if not, it'll just fuck up. So delete that empty recycle bin then you are open your steam and find load out which mine is down here go to properties go across to local uh, files view integrity of the game cache now you want to do that and that will replace the files you've just deleted and that basically it's just making sure that the files are correct and that should work um, but yeah, the main thing is MSI Afterburner, it, it just doesn't like it, and Fraps, it just won't load with it. Now, 
once you've done that you could um, wherever I put it uh, there's a I'll put this in the description as well uh, basically this will just test for any sort of shit on your problems with your graphics card just leave it as basic settings make sure it's direct X and primary display driver and just leave it as these settings and just click start wait for it to finish that'll tell you if there's any problems or any errors so that's a good program to check your graphics card um, memory then if you want to do a proper stress test of your um, graphics card just to make sure it's all good Valley Benchmark I'll put this in the description as well and this is a really cool little program it's the uh, free edition um, but yeah these are my settings what I use and then you just click run and that will put you into a benchmark thing which it doesn't look like you can see it on the recorder because I'm just recording on the desktop it's not going to show you the program I don't think no, you might be able to hear the music though, I'm not sure. But basically I'll exit that because you can't see it. Because this recorder's not too great. <laughs> but anyway, once you get in there, there's a button at the top where it says benchmark. You just click that and that'll go through a variety of stages. And it's all visual and there's like sounds and it stress tests the graphics card. And just to make sure that's not the problem which to be honest it probably wouldn't be but it's still worth doing um, temperatures core temps um, this isn't in the description but you can just literally type that in google core temp and you'll find the program um, but then again I might yeah I'll probably do that I'll, I'll shove the um, core temp in the description as well uh, just to keep an eye on your temperatures which as I'm recording it's under quite a bit of a load which is unusual for that actually but anyway yep that's that just look, keep an eye on your temperatures when you're loading the game um, what else have we got well that's pretty much all it to be honest just do those th few things and I'll see if this will actually let me record the game and I'll show you that it's now working. Um, hopefully that'll let me. Because this recorder is not great. Right, it's coming up. The game's working but I don't think you can actually see this. So I'll probably um, just cut a little bit of this video out here and use a different recorder to record the game and I'll show you a full match of it actually working. Um, but for now I'll just exit that because I can't see any other screen. It didn't look like I was actually recording that. Um, but that's it. I guess so I'm going to stop the video here and then I'm going to pull up the game and show you the game in full swing working correctly uh, thanks for watching I guess and I'll be back in a second actually one thing I have forgot to show is when you go onto the download pages um, where to actually click to download them because some people get confused of what they got to click so the um, Mem memory uh, VRAM test for the graphics card just click this little link here and that'll download and the website's there but that's going to be in the description and then for the um, CC cleaner you just click download which is obvious there and with the disk defrag just the same there just click that all these links are going to be in the description um, AVG, if you haven't got a virus thing already, just uh, get it there, it's free. Um, Valley Benchmark, you just scroll down to get here, just download the free version. And that's that. And here, Core Temp, um, you just click there. That's all done.